Hi, welcome to my video. In it I'm going to show you what I believe is the best VPN software you can buy currently online. Um, the program is called Identity Cloaker and it's been around for about uh, seven, eight, nine years now. I think, I think about eight years it has um, been released. And it's one of the most advanced VPN softwares available on the market. Now there are a lot now. Um, a few years ago there were only two or three but there, there are hundreds now. Um, most of them are designed purely for um, bypassing um, geoblocks, so letting you watch BBC iPlayer in, when you're outside the UK or Hulu outside the USA, stuff like that, and YouTube videos, <coughs> um, which Identity Cloaker all does as well. Um, you'll notice on their website they don't advertise this. This is purely because you're much less likely to get blocked if you don't advertise the fact. Okay, um, so I'm going to quickly show you some of the, the features that I think make um, Identity Cloaker one of the best. Right, Identity Cloaker sits in its PC format uh, in the bottom right hand bar. There's a little taskbar that sits which you access all the uh, functionality. At the moment, uh, Identity Cloaker is not functioning here. I'm not actually connected to the server, but I'm just going to show you some of the settings that I use a lot. Right, um, security first. You can set, um, you can see um, Identity Cloaker has access to hundreds of um, IP addresses and lots of servers all over the world. Okay, this is important because it provides extra security and if you want to access US content, UK content, you obviously need a server in that um, country. Um, with this, if I want to really secure my connection, what I use is um, the switching mode. You can see here, you can tell Internet um, Identity Cloaker to switch their connection every single, every minute or so. So if we just connect there, um, every minute now the Identity Cloaker will switch and relay my connection through a different server in a different country. This, so this means none of my data is stored on one specific server. It's switched every single minute. So it's completely protected um, when the ISP, there's no log. You, can, they, you can't read any of the logs in the ISP because they're all encrypted. It goes down an SSH tunnel, um, which is a secure shell. Um, you can control the encryption level depending on what you what your priority is. If you're just watching, using Identity Cloaker to access the BBC and watch the World Cup on the BBC, you can actually turn down the encryption level to none. Okay, so none of your um, connection is encrypted at all. That sometimes provides a bit of a speed boost because it doesn't have to put this encryption layer on. You can also set it at strong or maximum. Okay, um, depending exactly as I say, depending on what you're doing. Um, if you're traveling and doing some online banking or anything that really needs top security, put it on maximum. The speed difference won't be huge in either way. So I, ca I tend to keep um, encryption levels strong most of the time. Because even when I'm streaming media, it's quite quick anyway. Um, right, now let me look, show you some of the settings here. Um, this is where um, Identity Cloak goes beyond. It's it's a very advanced system. You don't have to use all this stuff, but it's there if you need to. Here we go into the cloaked application section. Here you can actually specify what you want to cloak. Um, for instance, you can have Identity Cloaker running all the time, and you can have Firefox, which is encrypted and cloak, and maybe Google Chrome, which isn't, or Internet Explorer. You can actually have encrypted and non-encrypted uh, browsers. So if you want to watch um, BBC iPlayer through Chrome, just leave that encrypted and then do your, all your normal browsing through uh, another browser. Um, it's For some people it's quite um, useful. You can also tell it to encrypt different messengers, specific email clients if you just want certain email clients. If you've got any specific reasons for um, uh, different multimedia applications or indeed if you've got specific custom applications that you want to encrypt so you want to protect certain communication you just put them in there so you could put something like an FTP client or a telnet client and encrypt that connection <coughs> um, 
some of these you might have to ring support if you have uh, difficulties but i've used it on quite a few applications and it's encrypted uh perfectly well these are quite advanced features so tend to it's best to ask support if you're struggling on any of those um, here we've got the advanced settings there's lots of different settings in there but the next one i want to show you is local proxy um, local proxy if you want to use uh, um, a vpn software within uh, a company network or an academic network sometimes they specify that you must use an internal proxy um, a lot of companies do this and they find that you cannot actually go straight directly out to another proxy or a VPN server. You have to go through the corporate one. This allows you to piggyback that um, uh, proxy server and you can go directly through it. So you can just pop in the uh, internal address of the proxy, your normal username and password um, that you use, and you can actually use Identicloaker within a corporate network. Sometimes you won't need to use this, but um, I think this is the only piece of software that provides this functionality and it is extremely useful if you actually w have to work within a uh, an environment that um, forces you through an internal proxy. Loads and loads of places do that but if you want to keep your browsing secure or your, your connection secure in that environment you may need to use this local proxy details depending how it's set up. Okay well that's uh, basically an overview of it. Um, I'd say just for me um, the reasons I use it I use it when I'm traveling it's important to me that um, I'm able to um, protect my connection when I'm using things like uh, airport or hotel Wi-Fi your your data is just simply at the mercy of ever runs these things and it's not secure and if I I'm away for a week or two weeks and I want to check my online bank account or check my email or uh, my PayPal account this gives me the peace of mind to do it. You can also um, get a small cut-down version of Identity Cloaker that runs off a USB key if you don't want to keep the software installed. Other my main uses are for bypassing blocks. Um, I was in Turkey um, last year when um, Twitter and Facebook were blocked. Uh, I used Identity Cloaker then, and I use it very often to access BBC iPlayer, ITV, and um, multimedia sites just by connecting to a, a UK VPN server. The one last thing I'm gonna just show you, um, there are two different modes in Identity Cloaker. Um, its, its main form runs, as I says, through an SSH tunnel, which is encrypted and provides all the facilities of a, a, a VPN, but with more, you can customize it more. As I showed you, you can actually say, encrypt that, don't encrypt that, which you which is difficult to do with a current VPN. If you want a bog standard plain VPN, it comes you comes included with open VPN functionality. So you can run it in that mode as well if you prefer. Sometimes any specific applications might be better run under um, open VPN. The one that I think of <coughs> mainly is um Skype. Skype sometimes has problems running over an SSH tunnel, so you can run uh, open VPN in just a similar way as um, Identity Cloaker and disconnect as you need it. This is just some of the functionality there. Um, I hope um, it's given you a, an idea but just really how sophisticated this is. It's far and away the best VPN software. The majority of it is um, very very uh, of other software I've looked at is very basic indeed just a simple tunnel to a simple server here. This has um, huge possibilities and some very, very advanced features. Whether you use them or not is entirely up to you, but they're there if you need. Okay, well, I'm going to finish there. Um, thank you for listening and uh, watching my video. Um, and I hope it's helped you make some decisions about um, the VPN software that's for you. If you look on the screen, there, there'll be a link there to a discount voucher you can use which uh, currently gives you 15% um, off identical okay, um, on all the uh, different versions apart from the trial one okay thank you very much and bye for now